What's up? This week I was gonna try to like write something, post something in depth, but I wanted to just actually talk about something I've been thinking about a lot, which is playing the long game when it comes to quote unquote self-improvement. So for the last couple of weeks, I feel like I've just been like sitting with my, what, what we'll call shortcomings. Like the things that I see about myself that I know don't serve me or the things that I see that I feel like maybe if I changed them, I would get better results from my life. And it's very easy for me as someone who really, really struggles with self beat up to like get in this endless loop of like, I'm a piece of shit and I will never be better than this ever, which I know, you know, is a falsehood, but that is where my brain likes to go sometimes. And maybe your brain likes to go there too. I don't know. Not a fun place. There is this whole idea that we've already talked about that like you're perfect right now, the way you are. I am perfect right now, the way I am. I just need a little tweaking, right? So if that is true, then the, it also can't be true that like I'm a piece of shit that needs to fix everything, right? So I've actually just been sort of sitting in my shortcomings of late and just sort of like sitting with them for a while and not being so quick to, you know, figure out like the next thing that needs to fix it. And um, it really is this whole idea, this is something else I'm starting to explore a little bit, is this whole idea of like, adapting to your situation or treating your situation as a technical problem to be solved. So instead of, you know, like a uh, weight loss, for instance, this is something I really struggle with is like body image and how do I become a person who, you know, how do I work within health and fitness? And I've always attacked health and fitness with tools, right? The right diet plan, the right gym plan, the right, all of these things, right? And I always assumed if I had these right tools, then I would be in the gym every day. And really what it is, is tr actually more factual, I can't speak today. What's more factual is that I need to figure out how to become the kind of person who craves going to the gym or become the kind of person who doesn't crave eating an entire quarter of a cake the day after Thanksgiving. That happened, that happened. And I'm still beating myself up for it, which is ridiculous. Like I've, br I've burned those calories. I'm sure some of those are sitting on my ass at this point, but like calm down store, like calm down about the fucking cake that you just can't seem to let go of. So I don't necessarily have any answers right now. This is still something I'm really thinking through. Like instead of, again, attacking things with tools, how do I become the kind of person who can adapt and change in my situation? Um, I could give you some things about how like improv is totally, totally perfect for this, but I think I'm going to wait to do that when I have things figured out a little bit more and maybe I can give you some concrete principles that like you can do a jumping off point from as well. But that's about it. These videos I think are probably too long. I don't know if you watched down to this, this ending part. I should probably do more like smash cut, like outtake all that shit, um, but I'm not gonna do that yet because I'm still finding the way that I want to deliver this to you and deliver my thoughts to you. So that is it for now. Enjoy the picture of my office that's not quite put together, but at least it's clean now, yay. Okay, you guys are awesome. Please share if you think somebody could benefit from this and leave your feedback and your comments. I appreciate you.